Hi, welcome to fifth lecture in the series of audio and speech signal processing. In this video, we will talk about uh, uh, we will talk about voiced, unvoiced, and silence reason in the speech signal. You can also uh, visit our web page or our website uh, at www.jcbrolabs uh, for the theoretical part of the same lecture. You can also download the source code of this video uh, from that website as well. So let's come back to the speech signal. So if we talk about its production of an speech signal, then a speech signal is produced particularly if we talk about a speech signal, not the sound generated by an instrument or thing. Uh, if we talk about an speech signal, then a speech signal is uh, generated by vibrations of the uh, vocal cord. And that is like uh, when air comes out from the lungs, then this vocal cord just vibrates and then that vibrations creates like uh, uh, impulse like sequences and then those impulse sequences kind of modulates the air and and then put speech is produced so if we talk about any speech signal then if we look carefully to the speech signal then particularly speech signal or the voice part will be looks like a periodic sequence like uh, of some period or some particular waveform is being repeated uh, for the entire duration so if there is a speech then we generally categorize or divide the complete speech part into uh, three portions like voiced portion voiced portion is a kind of thing uh, uh, which uh, the portion which contains the amount uh, which contains the energy or higher energy part of the thing like uh, which contains some useful information the silence part silence part is when nothing is being spoken and usually it contains uh, no information and no energy is there and then unvoiced part so unvoiced part is uh, also generated from the uh, human vocal cord system but uh, uh, it is a kind of thing uh, no information is there and it also contains the lesser energy content as of the voice portion but it contains a higher portion as of the silence so silence can we think of the uh, like uh, can we think of a kind of noise so this silence part doesn't contain uh, uh, does not uh, uh, provide any <coughs> any <coughs> the silence part does not provide any information related to speech and it uh, don't play any significant role in a speech signal processing and a speech processing but while understanding a speech if we talk about the silence is uh, uh, a very crucial component because if someone just spoke uh, a complete sentence without putting some silence or pause in between then we may not be able to understand what he or she is might be seeing saying but as far as the speech processing concerned and processing part is concerned, the silence part doesn't contain any information and most of the time we try to remove the silence part uh, from the speech signal and the unvoiced portion of the speech signal uh, before uh, moving forward to speech processing algorithms so in this particular video and uh, in two or three upcoming videos we will be concentrating about how to remove silence part from any speech signal and we will learn about various techniques uh, for removing that some of uh, some are very crude some are energy based and some are autocorrelation based so we will look uh, all those uh, algorithms one by one so let's open MATLAB. First, we'll try to analyze the speech signal and how it looks like. So, first of all, let's uh, read the sound uh, file audio read. So, this is a uh, recorded video of mine, uh, recorded audio of mine, and let's uh, take it. So. Uh, its sampling frequency is 44,100 uh, it contains a lot of data so let's plot it and let's see how it looks like so not because it's a 2 by 2 matrix so one portion 1 2 and comma 1 so this is the waveform uh, recorded by me 
and if we look this particular portion so these are certain kind of speech when i have spoken but uh, look at these small portions they doesn't contain any information and they can be think of as a silence part where no energy no information is present uh, in the system so if uh, i want to convert it into some uh, speech to text conversion for further processing this uh, silence part um, will not play any role so uh, we can uh, remove them uh, otherwise they may create some ambiguity or some uh, they may affect the end result uh, because uh, the accuracy of the system may be uh, uh, may be degraded due to this silence part so before moving further as we have discussed in previous lecture like uh, generally we don't go for the entire uh, entire speech in one go uh, we generally uh, convert or we divide this complete uh, speech uh, this complete sample into a frames of a small small durations and then for all each duration or each frame uh, we do uh, processing algorithm and then at the last we combine so before again for uh, silence removal and uh, some kind of thing we also do the same so the first uh, portion for date uh, is will be like we will remove uh, this uh, we will uh, divide this entire speech into a small frames so before doing that because uh, uh, we will normalize the data so data normalization then so that the maximum amplitude uh, of the system is one and then amplitude variation will not have much uh, effect on our algorithm so this is recommended for doing any processing so let's turn let's plot it now if we see the plot the maximum amplitude will be one so every amplitude has been uh, ratioed accordingly increased or decreased uh, with respect to the maximum value. So let's now def let's define the frame duration. Uh, suppose we want to convert into a 25 millisecond of duration. So the frame duration will be 0 0.025 and the frame size will be you know, the number of samples present in the frame. So frame size uh, will be uh, around f underscore d into fs. Generally, this round is done. Uh, sometimes uh, sampling frequency is 44,100 and fd is 0 0.025. So sometimes it doesn't comes uh, uh, in teaser value. So we round it uh, to make it some in teaser value. So let's say f. Okay, so it's fd. So we have 1103 number of samples in each frame. Now let's talk about number of frames we will be getting. So this is length of all the data divided by the frame size. So we'll get how many frames um, will be there. So obviously there are 354 frames but uh, uh, some of the frames are uh, uh, some uh, it is not a whole number so we will do again flow of this n so we will be having total 354 frames and the last frame uh, we may neglect it with some lesser number of samples so now we will write our algorithm Damn. Let's run for i equals to 1 to number of frames and then we define a new variable frames with i comma total samples is equals to uh, data because it contains all the data. So oh, we will be considering this data is of uh, now this data is of one duration okay uh, we'll go from temp to temp plus frame size and then value of temp will be incremented by temp plus frame size and then uh, let's say okay so what's wrong here 
subscribe must either the real post integer so okay temp is zero and it will start from zero one so tam plus one okay so now we have uh, frames uh, with we have 345 frames and each frame contain 1103 samples so these are all the frames available there so now let's have a look uh, on the frame and uh, uh, let's see how it looks like so let's say let's plot first frame so frames of one comma all the numbers so the amplitude is going up to 10 power minus 4 so obviously it serves very less amplitude and there's no no kind of repetitions and it's obviously looking like a noise signal while uh, let's have a look of the frame number because we have done it previously 110 frame number 11 and 10 you can clearly see the amplitude is also high and the waveform is again a kind of repetition so uh, it is a, uh, it can be think of a periodic waveform of this thing the same pattern is being repeated again and again so exactly that was we talked about at the starting like uh, the voice samples will be a periodic kind of sequence and and uh, by looking at it uh, we can verify then it is a set sequence so if we, uh, we can also uh, have a look on the auto correlation function of these frames so let's say a auto correlation function because auto correlation function also tells a lot about uh, uh, the things and we take the length by frame so 110 to minus 1 so this is exactly a kind of uh, the uh, autocorrelation function we generally get for a kind of uh, speech signal when we have a voice sample so by it by this autocorrelation function we can also easily get the frequency of the uh, or the time period of this periodic sequence and uh, we'll talk about it later the periodic uh, sequence can be calculated from uh, number repeated zeros uh, zero interval from this time to this time and from that we can also calculate the uh, period of this same sequence now if we talk uh, take the auto correlation function of this uh, uh, frame number 40 let's see how this frame number 40 looks like frame so 40 comma exactly the uh, normal waveform and let's say we have autocorrelation function let's copy it from here so it is clearly indicating that it doesn't contain any major uh, periodic whiff and it is more or less a noise part of it and it is not a voice sample, voice sample as well so now when uh, it comes like from visualizing it it is uh, very clear like uh, we can say okay this is voice uh, voice portion and this is not a voice portion but uh, how to do it automatically we can't go all the frames one by one and identifying like okay this is voice sample this is not voice sample so we can't do it so uh, uh, here comes the uh, silence removal portions like how to remove this silence part from all the frames so there are various algorithm uh, for that for silence removal and one of the basic algorithm for silence removal is based on the amplitude that means uh, we compare the maximum amplitude of all the frames and if the maximum amplitude of any frame is uh, lying below the um, some threshold then we will neglect that frame so we can go for that algorithm that is uh, very easy in next video we will go for energy based algorithm so 
let's take uh, the amplitude of uh, every frames the maximum amplitude of every frames by taking max of frames comma uh, this is max command so that uh, we will get because each frame is in column so one row contains one frame so we need to calculate the maximum value row wise if we uh, simply write max or frames it will calculate the maximum value column wise so making it a row wise we need to write it like this so maximum amplitude of each uh, now has been represented in a single column uh, with the 345 rows so each column each uh, cell contains the maximum value of each frame now uh, what we'll do uh, we will we will find the ids of those frames uh, whose whose uh, maximum amplitude is less than some threshold and that can be done fine maximum amplitude is greater than 0 0.03 so we are taking so we are taking the maximum amplitude of 0 0.03 and so we'll get a value id so out of this 345 only 235 frames are there which have frames amplitude greater than 0 0.03 so we will uh, create a new variable frame with uh, removed silence or without silence we will get only those frames whose uh, with the same id and we'll get a variable like all the frames with the uh, with the maximum amplitude of 0 0.03 has been removed and now uh, we have calculated a different variable frw underscore which contains only 35 frames and they don't contain any silence part so the next portion is if we go for speech processing we can use this uh, variable or these frames for further processing part because the silence part is not there and only voice portion is there or uh, let's uh, before going further uh, we can reconstruct our signal uh, uh, by all these frames and for reconstructing from matrix to a single vector there is a command uh, reshape and we get a reconstructed variable reshape and fr underscore ws comma one comma you can go through metal help for further analysis about this reshape command and uh, let's do it now let's plot our data our reconstructed data without silence portion so this is our data uh, without silence and let's again see uh, make it hold on and plot normal data because that was with silence okay so let's plot comma with different color hmm. yes you can clearly see these small silence portions have been removed and the next sequence have been shifted backwards to fill that gap so by the, uh, the benefit of this is if one uh, we reduce the processing time because if we have 400 345 samples out of, uh, uh, with silence part so some processing time will be required for that as well uh, but after removing silence uh, silence we have reduced the processing time because those silence part doesn't contain any information and we can also improve the accuracy or our system uh, by removing this silence part so I hope you have understand uh, this uh, particular lecture how to remove silence and, and what are voiced and unvoiced portions of the speech and how to recognize that whether a particular frame is a voice sample or an unvoiced sample please visit uh, uh, please visit uh, uh, our website for uh, for the uh, theoretical descriptions of the same and you will get a complete pdf for the uh, for this tutorial lectures so i hope you have enjoyed this lecture so that's it for this video thank you